Hello, hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of Vasily TV. So, we're trying an absolutely fantastic wine today. Usually when we are doing these sorts of tasting notes, we do tend to stay on the sort of the cheaper side of things, or rather the better value uh, sort of sides of things. Uh, somewhere between sort of 25 and sort of $50 range. This one we thought we have to do a tasting note of this. I mean, this is one of the best Rieslings we've tried in a very, 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 very long time. And I'm very, very happy that it is now being brought into the country. Um, so this one is the Wittmann. This is from the Westhofen. Um, so, oh, well, anyway, to give you an idea, Wittmann there as a producer, they're a German producer. Surprise, surprise, from a name like that. And they are based in the Rhein-Hessen area. So this is from the Westhofen sort of subregion and the particular vineyard is what you see on the label here is Kirchspiel. Uh, now I'm sure there's much more Germanic way of saying that sort of Kirchspiel or something like that. Um, but yes, anyway, so Kirchspiel is the vineyard here. Uh, and also you'll see on around here on the neck of the bottle, it's quite cool, it's embossed in here. I don't know if you can necessarily see that. Um, and also down here on the label here, it's got GG. So GG stands for Grossgewach. Uh, so basically that means it is the best of the best of the best vineyards, essentially. Um, and then we've got another video up online where you can have a look on that, uh, which sort of describes the um, VDP, the whole qualitative system, and what all those different sort of words mean, GG and EG and etc. Anyway, so basically it's a dry wine from the top, the top, 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 top vineyards uh, in all of Germany. And as I say, so Kutschbiel is the particular vineyard here, and it is from the West. Hoffen uh, sort of sub-region, as it were, um, of the uh, Rhein-Hessen region. So this is also from the uh, 2014 vintage, uh, for those of you that are interested in it, and it's absolutely fantastic. So why? So we have to do a uh, tasting note on this, a uh, video tasting note on this, is because it is absolutely fantastic. It is a little bit more expensive, but it is so incredibly worth the money. I mean, it is one of the best Rieslings, in my eyes, um, from one of the best Riesling producers, in the world uh, to date. Uh, so, I mean, <laughs> if you're not gonna take my opinion for it, look it up uh, anywhere else uh, in the world and I'm sure that you can take their opinion for it as well. Collectively, people tend to think and tend to agree that this really is one of the absolute best. So it is sitting at about $90, I think, $90, $100 or something like that. But as I say, it is so, so incredible. And this particular uh, vintage, as, as I say, 2014 is going to be living quite happily in your cellar um, and just getting better and getting better and getting better for decades. Um, no joke, <laughs> no joke. So it's very, very young now. It is, it is looking quite nice now, I do have to say. Sometimes um, sort of Rieslings like this, which are built to last and built to sort of really just get better over the years to come. Um, they can be a little bit standoffish, a little bit uh, sort of closed on the nose, but in all honesty, this is, this is stunning to drink um, really, really well at the moment. Anyway, so let's give it a proper sniff now. Mm. I mean, talk about complexity. I mean, on the nose already. Getting lots of sort of orchard fruits. There's sort of beautiful sort of citrus fruits there as well. I mean, but for me, it's yellow pear. It's that sort of beautiful golden apple, that sort of baked apple characteristic on the nose. As I say, yellow pear, that sort of beautiful sort of yellow um, sort of fruit flavors there, a little bit of lemons coming through, sort of that candied lemon uh, almost, um, sort of that real sort of lemon essence, that real sort of lemon plus, you know, lemon plus, plus, plus. It's beautiful on the nose, absolutely beautiful. And I have to say that's almost, almost a little bit of sort of candied uh, sort of tangelo almost. Tangelo zest, that would be sort of candy tan tangelo zest. That definitely does have that zestiness there, but those apple flavors, those beautiful sort of soft and crispy um, sort of pear and then apple flavors coming through. Mmm. I have to say, just a touch, there is a little bit of spiciness here. Um, it's almost like, uh, what's the word for it? What's the word? Crystallized ginger, just like crystallized ginger, and it's just, Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> anyway, let's give it a little taste, shall we? Mmm. 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 
half a mind about not spitting that out, actually. That's delicious. <laughs> That's really delicious. So this is mineral right to the core on the pellet. And you didn't necessarily get that on the nose, but I suppose you would, you know, in years to come. But on the pellet, this is rich and juicy. And as I say, it does have that mineral core to it. It is quite a bit of that sort of crushed uh, sort of limestone, that sort of little bit of that sort of wet wool characteristic coming through. But for me, still, it's those beautiful sort of lovely um, baked pear, sort of think of like an almond pear tart, that sort of beautiful, sort of really slow cooked pear characteristic coming through. It's just juicy and rich and a little bit of that sort of those caramelized flavors coming through, which is interesting for a wine that is so young, um, which is really, really cool. And a little bit, as I say, that sort of the crystallized ginger sort of characteristic, that's like spiciness keeps it interesting, keeps it exciting. But man, this is this is interesting. I mean, this is intense. Um, this is this is yeah. <laughs> this is reasoning the way it should be, right? I mean, it, it's it makes sense that we call this uh, one of the best rieslings ever produced um, from one of the best producers in in Germany at this point in time. And as I say, for the last sort of fifty hundred years or so as well, they have been recognised as one of the absolute best. And you know, to their jolly credit, I say. So cheers to Wittmann. Um so yes, all the information is below for you to check it all out. Check out this particular wine, buy yourself a bottle or two. As I say, this is going to age in your cellar beautifully for decades to come. It would actually, it would make a really, really good uh, sort of 21st birthday present uh, for, for your child. If someone, if you are having a, a child or a friend is having a child or something like that, some people often wonder or freak out about what they should get um, their kids because they do like to sort of get a wine sometimes or grandparents like to do that for their um well grandchildren and all the rest and some people get port and some will get um sort of bordeaux or, or something like this but i have to say if you've got or if you know someone that's been born in the 2014 vintages so it would be a fantastic um 21st birthday present for them i have to say i mean this is going to look so good uh, in 20 years i mean it's looking good now so imagine what it's going to be looking like in 20 years time um well 19 years time um, anyway, so as I say, all the information is below. Absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend picking yourself up a couple of bottles. We don't have masses and masses of stock, so you are going to have to get in there pretty quick. But then again, the 2015 vintage will be released next year. So um, if you miss out this one, 2015, as I said, I've heard good things already from the winery, so that's good. Um, anyway, so I've been Connell. This has been the Cellar TV, and this has been an incredible Riesling, and I'm going to go finish off this class. Haha, <laughs> cheers.